Bailey, you're back. Roaring Kitty's back. But what, what does that mean? I don't know, Ed. It means that he's back to Twitter. He posted a video that actually had clips of the movie Wolverine. He also posted a montage that had uh, Ferris Bueller on his day off. It's a lot of questions, and it's circulating Reddit, StockTwits, Discord, you name it. And investors are speculating that if Roaring Kitty's back on social media, maybe that means he likes the stock again, and maybe that's a reason people should buy the stock. That's really the galaxy brain of the re the retail crowd at this point as it relates to GameStop. Because, yeah, just give us the context of where else this is lit a fire. Not only just GameStop, but crypto related to GameStop. And also, well, just heavily shorted names that are out there in the retail space. Exactly. Everything that moved back in 2021, Koss, AMC, you name it, Beyond, which bought the Bed Bath & Beyond brand from the company after it went bankrupt, is rallying. Caroline, it's, it's really just kind of like a question around what the next stock could be. And it almost brings back the shades in the argument around, is this retail traders or is this Wall Street? And are people speculating where they can put money to work and what actually is driving the rally? Because when you look at what happened back in, in 2021, obviously the retail crowd was part of it. Obviously they were buying call options, but there are a lot of questions around who else was buying because Wall Street doesn't really let other people make money if they can get in on the trade. Well, precisely. So is this a, going to target short stocks and any particular hedge funds in particular, as we saw back in 2021. But also, do the retail crowd want to be piling in using Robin Hood once again? Because Robin Hood came out sort of a, 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 a foe and a friend in this situation. Yeah, the whole debate around removing the buy button is an area I don't want to get into. <laughs> um, but it does no seem... No confetti. <laughs> I know. But it does seem like we are still seeing those animal spirits. And that's really one of the questions is who's buying and who's selling? Because... We saw GameStop up 68% in the three weeks prior to the Roaring Kitty post. We saw the busiest week from a volume perspective since April 2022. So people were buying the stock. Out of the money call options were active in the two weeks leading up to today's rally. So a lot of questions about what actually was going on under the surface. I see some, uh, I see some animal spirits in you and your reporting and your grasp of the data. There are some animal spirits in other names like Reddit's higher... Uh, Robin Hood app was higher. I saw on Down Detector that E-Trade has been difficult for some users since the open. So take that information and just explain the basics of the relationship of the trading in these names and, and what's happening with meme stocks more broadly. So we're seeing really a pushback into a lot of those retail names. And that's new names like Trump Media and Reddit and old names like AMC and Cost. But we are seeing a lot of these systems being inundated with buy orders. And that really can put a strain on some of the systems to try to pair up buyers and sellers. And that's why you see a number of these trades kind of potentially fail to deliver and a number of other issues. This is not the short mania that it was in 2021 when over 140 percent of GameStop was sold short. It's closer to 24 percent. But this is creating a lot of issues for the underlying systems that are trying to match up up these uh, buy and sell orders. And that also, with the volatility and with some of the swings where people were trying to put in orders at, that's why we saw the stock halted eight times for volatility in the first hour because there was so much of an order and an order backlog among these retail platforms that don't have client that have clients that do not have access to after hours or pre-market trading. So that also can create kind of this bottleneck, if you will, of buy and sell orders in that first 60 minutes, even the first 10 minutes of uh, trading was quite volatile and quite hectic. 